Hey, what's up, ladies? You all men, how are you doing? You're watching Grow Positive, and my name is Ali. In this video, I want to tell you how you can actually go download and play Cool of Duty MOBO on your PC. So, I was getting a lot of questions hey, how do you play Cool of Duty MOBO on your PC? Because in some of the videos, you guys have noticed uh, key keyboards, keys. And you wanted to know how I was playing Call of Duty Mobile by using mouse and keyboard without any lag. So this video is all about that. How you can go and play Call of Duty Mobile by using mouse and keyboard. So there wouldn't be any lag, you don't have to be worried. So to play Call of Duty Mobile, let me tell you, you have to download an emulator on your PC. If you don't know what the heck is emulator, then let me tell you. It's like an Android version on your PC that allows you to use Android application. Plus you can play Android games by using mouse and keyboard. So this one is going to be official emulator by Call of Duty Mobile's publisher Tencent Games. You know Tencent Games did develop Call of Duty Mobile and PUBG Mobile. They developed this emulator. So a lot of people know about Tencent Gaming Buddy. So Tencent Gaming Buddy recently upgraded to Game Loop, and now its official name is Game Loop. So to download Game Loop, all you gotta do you'll find a link in my description. Go click on the link and it will take you on official Tencent Game Buddy or Game Loops website. Now here you will see a giant download button. Now you want to click on that download button and it will automatically start its downloading. I've already downloaded it so I'm gonna go cancel it. It's just like 9.3 MB but then it will download its file uh, once you will download it uh, inside downloading. So I'm just gonna go cancel, you have to download it and then go to location where you did install it guys. So now we have to install it, uh, here's my downloaded file, uh, I go, I go, double click on it and it will ask for me some administrator permission, I'll allow yes and then it will ask you to hit the start. So once you hit the start, it will download Tencent Gaming Ready or you can say Game Loop in your PC. So I've already installed it also. So when I'll click on start, it will open it automatically for me. Uh, but the very first time you have to install it, you gotta go click on that start button. And once you install it, you're not gonna see anything in my game section. Uh, let me just make it bigger for you. To be honest, I don't know how I can make it bigger. So yes, uh, now you wanna download Call of Duty Mobile. So to download Call of Duty Mobile, you'll go into Game Center. And now here you'll see Call of Duty. You wanna click on Call of Duty. As you can also see, they have put a heart. Uh, on Call of Duty Mobile, but if you can't find it here, you can search Call of Duty here by typing through your keyboard, or you can also see Call of Duty here as in trending games. Uh, it depends on what time you watch my video, you might have to search if you can't find Call of Duty Mobile here. So then click on this Call of Duty and it will ask you to install. As you guys can see, when I click on it, it is asking me to install Call of Duty Garena. You have to install it. So now let me tell you, if accidentally you install any other version of Call of Duty Mobile, like if you install Call of Duty Mobile Garena, Call of Duty Mobile Korea, or Call of Duty Mobile China, you know there's uh, lots of different versions. But if you want to download another version, like you have downloaded Garena version, but you want to download international version, all you can do, you can click on this change server button right here. Once you click on it, it will ask you to change its server. I did install uh, Cool HGT Mobile Korea version the very first time, but then I changed the server to international and they gave me access to international version. You can download any other Cool HGT Mobile version in your this emulator. You don't have to go into settings and change your language as you do in PUBG Mobile to play other version. You can just normally click on this button to change the server for Cool of GT Mobile. So once you install it, uh, you have to install it. Okay, once you install it, just go hit that play button and it will load up. Uh, Turbo AOU engine for you and then it will open Call of Duty Mobile automatically for you. Okay, so I know There is a lot of controversy going on uh, about emulator players. So Let me tell you there are some people who can't afford things like there are some people who don't have good mobile They can't play Call of Duty Mobile on their mobiles and there are some people who cannot afford uh, Good PC they also cannot play uh, Call of Duty PC series in their PC so what they do, they play Call of Duty Mobile version in their PC that helps them to experience Call of Duty Mobile games. So we shouldn't uh, make any controversy about that people, but we can make controversy about those people who are messing with our games who got good PC but they st they're still playing the mobile version of their PC. But still, if you're playing Call of Duty Mobile on your emulator, you'll face same openings for who are on emulator. But if you're playing with one of your friends who is on mobile, their friend will also face same openings 
who are on uh, emulator as well. So if your teammate is playing with you and you're on emulator, your teammate will face emulator enemies also. So uh, it's kind of balanced, we should not uh, make controversy on any person. So let me tell you, we can actually put our graphics to max and it is awesome. I don't think so if you can even play uh, on max graphics on iPhone 11. But on emulator, you can see uh, I have the max graphics option. So I've set it my uh, graphics style to standard and then my graphics quality very high, then max, depth, and I've uh, literally enabled everything because I have a decent PC. It's not a big shop, it's decent. So now I'm gonna go and show you Battle Royale and let me tell you how you can use your mouse and keyboard. So the best thing about this emulator is that you don't have to set up any mouse or keyboard uh, functions. So once you download the simulator, it will automatically set up everything for you. You can just start your game and start playing with your mouse and keyboard. Uh, but I'll do guide you while playing this game. Uh, I don't want to play multiplayer because, you know, uh, I did log in with my Facebook account and I don't want to lose. So I'll just go into Battle Royale and tell you how you can use some of its buttons. So here we are in our Call of Duty and at the very first time they showed me this mouse I can just click on this class and hit confirm and I got my class. Now here's a quick uh, tutorial for you guys. Uh, if you press this button, I don't know what you guys call this button, I'll put it on your screen. If you click on this button, it will unlock that mouse for you. You can actually click on this button to uh, go into full screen like that. You can also press F11 to go into full screen and come back from full screen. And now, if you go into these three lines, you can uh, increase and decrease the volume, same as you do in Android or iOS. So now I'm gonna go press F11, it's, uh, it will uh, just go and make full screen for me. And now if we press M, we can open our map, we can shoot from our left mouse button, we can open our scope from our right mouse button, we can use our mouse wheel to change our guns, we can use F to like uh, open doors, pick things, uh, change paths, and uh, yeah, we can pretty much do a lot of things with F. Oh, let me just mute that person is talking. Time for the mission. Get ready. Uh, never mind. So, we're actually hopping into your battle royale. Uh, I did unlock my mouse, but I can lock it again by using that same button. If you press D, you can open that volume function. So once again, press M, open your map, and you can just put your marker anywhere by using a mouse, and then. Press F to jump and you can go anywhere where you want to go. It is really easy, you can actually see all those mouse buttons on your screen. If you want to watch this gameplay, you can continue watching. Because I'm actually playing on very high graphics. Uh, to be honest, my mobile doesn't support very high graphics. Uh, but my PC is in it because I'm playing mobile game on PC. Here we landed, now I'm going to go pick up some items. Is it lagging? Maybe because I'm recording, never mind, there we go, okay, so I got PDW, actually it's one of my favorite guns, there we go, let's start, okay, we got it, so I've changed my graphics styles to standard, you can change it to dynamic and uh, realistic, uh, if you will click on that middle one, it will make it colorful, so you can hold shift to run faster, you can press left mouse button to shoot, right mouse button to scope, and V to go to FPP and TPP and pretty much you can see everything a single button on your screen so if you click on R reload. you can reload uh, so I guess that's it uh, now if you wanna watch my gameplay you can do it if you wanna go you, uh, it's all up to you so yeah, I guess that's it for today how you can go and play Call of Duty Mobile on your PC by using mouse and keyboard without any lag and it is official emulator I hope you guys like this video. I want to thank you guys really much for watching. Remember, peace, love, and unity. My name is Oli, and I'm signing out. Hell yeah.